Okay, so I've got these grape trellises. Uh, actually, these, what looks like hand railings that I'm going to convert into uh, some grape trellises, right? So I've got them sort of propped up here as the next step. Um, I'm going to weld the uh, the railings together. Uh, that one over there is just sort of helping to keep it up, but that piece right there is going to be welded into it. Um, so that's the next step. Uh, once I get the pieces welded together, I am then going to come along and anchor in these things, or I might just do that right now. It might help me to... Uh, might help me actually just to do that now. That's what I'll do. Next step, put these in. And so to do that, I'm going to use this new hammer drill. $99 hammer drill, DeWalt, and uh, some anchor screws. So I need this. And I need anchor screws. So once I drill the holes, you know what? I, I drill a hole and then I put a bolt in it, sort of like that. All right. And then I come over to the next hole and I drill it right through the device itself, right through this uh, anchor thing. And I, I drill right through there and then I put the bolt in like that. And I do that with each one, that way I know that my holes are going to line up, right? Have you ever done that and then find out that your holes don't quite line up? And it's kind of hard to make sure that you get it really precise with these things because they sort of hop around when you start drilling. So, so there it is, and now all I have to do is tap them down in. And I always, I like to put the bolts on first um, and then tap it down because sometimes if you don't have your depth gauge set quite right you can tap it down and it goes oh, way down too far right and then you can't get it up far enough to put the bolt on uh, so i like to i like you know you tap that thing that screw down so far that you can't even get the bolt on it right so um this is the, this is the way i do it now i just sort of tap them down and uh, and then I s tighten the bolts up so that uh, the bottoms of those things get snug. I've got that one done down there already. Got two of the holes drilled in that one. So I've made some progress. Uh, this part right here is up. This little guy on the very end, this last two feet here, uh, I haven't attached it yet. I have to anchor the base, and I'm going to anchor, I think, all three of the remaining bases now. And then I'm going to come back, get that thing aligned, that last two feet, um, and weld it up. And then I'll come over here and erect this guy. Okay, more progress. I've got the whole thing just about up, just this last little piece right here. I've got to take and put it there. But I've put in all of the all of the bases, anchored them in using those little anchor bolts. I cracked one of them off by trying to tighten it too much. Um, I had a feeling I was doing it too much. I was just kind of testing it and then clicking on it. Oh shit, that was a bad test. Excuse my French. And it's all for you. You little, you little grapes, you little bastards better like that. You better, you nice little plants better like this. I heard that if you talk nice to them, they grow better. Grow better, you sense of. So, uh, that thing right there, uh, when I planted that like a month ago, about a month ago, and uh, that thing is just cruising. I mean, it's probably, it's twice the size of when I planted it. And when I planted it, it had no leaves or anything on it. That was just a month ago. So it is cruising. It's growing straight up towards the sun. This one over here is kind of branching out a little bit more. I'm going to probably better trim off some of its branches and uh, 
so they can get more energy into going upward. Yeah, part of the problem is this little guy right here is giving it too much shade. But uh, in a couple of hours, that plant right there, it's going to have plenty of sun. So, 